Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel. 18 Things You Shouldn't Do To Your Private Part Your private part needs much more attention than you think. You must take care of it. Here are 8 things that you should never do to your private part. 1. Never apply perfume to your intimate area. It is meant to apply on your neck, not on your private part. 2. Try not to scratch your private part, if you do not want infections. 3. If you feel something strange in your intimate area, be sure to see a doctor. Do not try to find your diagnosis on the internet. 4. Avoid using aromatic soaps. 5. Make sure that you disinfect your private part correctly. You do not want infections, right? 6. Narrow clothes and underwear are not the best options for your private part. Your vagina needs to breathe. 7. When you get out of the shower, make sure that you dry your vagina correctly. Do not wear clothes if your private part is still wet. 8. Try to limit sweets and add fruits and vegetables to your diet. 9. Anything you've just used for butt stuff and haven't yet cleaned. We see, vaginal pH havoc, if you will, break out from, using a toy in the vagina that has just been used for anal play, says Dweck. If you want to use a toy in the anal area, first of all, remember that it has to have some sort of a retrieval device, a string or something along that line. My husband happens to be a colon and rectal surgeon, so I hear of toys getting stuck in the colon because there is nothing to remove it. If you want to switch back and forth between vaginal and anal play then I would definitely wash the toy in between, and you may want to use a condom on some of the toys as well. 10. Any sharp objects. The blood supply to the inside of the vagina is so rich that even the smallest cut can cause incredible amounts of bleeding and although it's a forgiving area and typically will heal, that's not a chance that you really want to take, says Dweck. 11. A hairbrush handle. I can only imagine a handle getting stuck inside the vagina or some trauma being caused, so I can't really condone that, Dweck insists. 12. Alcohol-soaked tampons. I've heard of the practice of putting alcohol on a tampon and putting it into the vagina for advanced absorption and getting a buzz off of that, says Dweck. I would say that sounds like it would be horribly uncomfortable and can cause damage to the vaginal mucus so I definitely wouldn't advise that. 13. Your cell phone. Yes. The phone vibrates, but it doesn't belong inside you. I mean there's a battery in there, that could certainly be a problem, says Dweck. 14. Pop rocks. This can definitely traumatize your lady parts in a flash, just ask this woman who tried it and ended up on sex sent me to the ur. 15. Aerosol cans. Dweck experienced a horror story of her own when a patient came to her office after inserting a whipped cream aerosol container, complete with an attached cap, into her vagina because the shape of the top of it was a little bit phallic. Terrifyingly enough, a couple hours later we were in the operating room removing it because it had caused so much trauma. 16. Rhinestones. Lest we forget about vajazzling, the hottest trend of 2010, and don't you worry, it's still kicking in 2015, Dweck is here to remind us to be careful about the placement of those nifty rhinestones, because the glue used in the process can be an irritant. Vajazzling is probably not an issue on the outside of the vagina, but don't put it on the inside. Some people have sensitive tissue and they get a reaction to the glue. Case in point, keep the rhinestones in the same place you might normally put a landing strip, and nowhere else. 17. An electric toothbrush. If that vibration of a toothbrush floats your boat, use it clitorally rather than inside the vagina so that it's external stimulation, says Dweck, though as a general rule, she doesn't really recommend you put any household items in there. That's what vibrators are for. 18. Small animals. This is rare, I've seen it once in my 24 years of practice, says Dweck, but probably one of the worst experiences that I ever had was someone putting a small tiny animal in their vagina as part of their sexual play, so obviously I think that's totally out. Enough said. Thanks for watching, please, subscribe to my channel, thanks.